guys, I am Forever Game. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Violet Part um 87. In the last episode, we tried and failed to catch starter Pokemon. Um, we caught Chespin. But in this episode, we're trying to catch the other ones. Where are they? Like, it's Snivy is right there. I see it on the map. But, like, where is it? I'm like right there. Like I'm right on top of it. Like where is it? But in this episode, we're gonna catch more starter Pokemon. Cause I watched a video. Apparently they're supposed to like be in this area. I don't think we should leave. Because like, it's literally like right there. Like where is it? This feels like false advertising. Look, where is it? I don't see anything green. Like, I see literally everything else. Where is it? Oh, I don't know. Executor. The dung beetle. Like, where is it? Like, this is genuinely starting to piss me off. Like, it's literally, like, right there on the little mini-map. Like it's right there. But it's nowhere to be seen. Like this is genuinely bothering me. It's just not here. There. Why the fuck is it so far away? Like that is nowhere near where that was. Whatever. None of my business. Um. Send in. I guess you. Hmm. Is that a good idea? Who's to say? What if we kill it? That'd be sick. I don't think it will. I don't think we're that much higher. Gastro acid. Come on, Dupider. Okay, move info. Lunge is 80, liquidation is 85. We're gonna do this one. They're the same level. I think we should be fine. Oh, yep, we're gonna, we're gonna leech life. I think we should be fine. Especially because it's about to go back up to 100%, basically. Come on. Okay, it's in yellow. I'm going to throw something. Ultra Ball. Please work. Oh, thank God! Okay, Snivy's down. We've got all the Gen 5 starters. We'll go look for Trico after we go to the next one. Snivy, the grass snake Pokemon, a grass type. It prefers to avoid groups in its day-to-day -day life. It's dexterously, it, de it dexterously controls its vines to compensate for its short arms. I really like Snivy. Ashes in the anime was fun. It should have evolved. But okay. Oh, I see more Snivy are showing up. But okay. Now we're going over here. Do I need to teleport? I probably should. Um, where's the closest? Oh, over there. Um, fly here. We don't have BP, so I don't know why I'm concerned. Oh yeah, you need BP to be able to challenge the Elite Four to do their little tests or whatever. We don't have any. Like genuinely, we have none. I need to do. I need to do it off camera, but we're not going to do that. Like in like this episode though so i feel like it should be fine i feel like i can just grab it off camera i think you need 50 to challenge them okay this is supposed to be i think where fanakin spawns according to fanakin but according to 100 percent guides it's like a video thing on youtube okay um we're gonna throw our quick ball first Oh, I like Fennekin. It's cute. 
Yay! Serena should have stayed a Fennekin. I'm dead serious. Like, Brakeson and Delphox are hideous. Yay, Fennekin! Fennekin, the fox Pokemon, a fire type. Twigs make for Fennekin snacks. When it nibbles on twigs, it finds the courage to face strong foes. Send Fennekin to the box. Yay! Cool, cool, cool. Okay, our first Gen 6 starter. Okay, next, we are gonna make our way... I think we're gonna go to Trico. I think we need to go there. So, um... I guess we're there. So we can glide over. But yes, we need Trico now. Hopefully Trico's easier to catch. Let me heal. And then we'll go. And I think we may do finals this episode. I don't know though. Or at least some of the finals. Okay. So we need to go... Make our way. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully Truco spawns. Hopefully, I pray. Tepig. Then, please attach to the wall. I really hate rock climb. I really hate rock climb. Like, it's so bad in this game. Um, we need to go, oh god. We need to go over here. Yes, over here, I think. We need to go to the other side of this rope bridge. Which is... Here? I think so. I think this is where Trico is supposed to spawn. Oh, Swab Blue. Cute. Trico! Thank God. Okay. God. Okay, this is already going better. Quick ball. Okay, next, I think we're going for Chimchar and Score Bunny, who are both on that mountain. Because we already have Turtwig, so now we have all Gen 3 starters and every Gen 4 starter except Chimchar. But yay! We caught Trico! I loved Ashes in the anime, it was cute. Trico, the wood gecko Pokemon, a grass type. Trico can quickly scale even vertical surfaces and senses humidity with its tail to predict the next days of weather. Cool, I like Trico. I used one in Alpha Sapphire. I've used every Hoenn starter. Maybe not fully, but I've used them. Okay. And then now we need to go to the mountain. I think this should work. We need to go to the mountain to find Chimchar and Score Bunny. Hopefully, they're easy to find. I pray. I don't see them so far. Uh, I really wish you could bring out that, like, glide thing again. Like, after you, like, let it go. Like, in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, you can bring it out whenever. Like, as long as I'm still falling. Hyper Potion. Hmm. What is that? That's a snubble. Okay, where are they? Where are they? I could go watch the video, but I figured, you know, they're on the mountain. I figured they wouldn't be that hard to find. Because I felt like we were, like, grabbing... We saw a lot of Chimchar on that mountain. Hmm. What are those? Granbull... No, no, Matang looks really good. Like, come on. These cannot be that hard to find. Like, I feel like we saw a lot of Chimchar. Hmm. Let's go, like, down here, maybe. Ooh, a Pokeball. A rare bone. I feel like we have like a thousand of those at this point. Hmm. I may need to make my way to that video. 
Ah, oh, Piplup. Cute, we already have one. Hmm. Well then. Where are they? They're on this effing mountain. Score bunny. We thought score bunny. Thank God. Okay. Quick ball throw. Please catch it. I like score bunny enough. Yay! Oh my God, they're being cooperative. What a concept. Score bunny was caught. Score Bunny, the rabbit Pokemon of fire type. Fire energy gathers on the pads of its feet, raising their temperature. Once hot, Score Bunny's foot pads can deal heavy damage to its opponents. Uh, I do. Do we remember the um the Fakemon leak where it was like it made Score Bunny like a girl bunny and it was like a like an astronaut kind of? Like that thing was cool. Like I wanted that so badly. I was begging. I was begging for that leak to be real. Because it had Grookey become, like, a cute little, like, fire lemur or whatever. And then Score Bunny became, like, like if Lopany was an astronaut. Uh, it was lovely. Okay, so I think Chimchar is on, like, the cliffs or whatever. That's what this says. Chimchar is found on the tops of the snowy cliffs in the polar biome. So, like, let's try to get higher, I guess. Oh my god. I hate rock climbing this game. It never wants to attach. Attach. Thank you. Like, it just... It's too much. It just doesn't attach. Attach. Please attach. Thank you. Like, Jesus. I don't see anything. I don't feel like going to the top is going to have anything. I think there was an item up here. These are snowy cliffs. Let's try over here. If I can't find it in like the next minute, I'll like go to that video. Mm, nothing. 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 This is sick. Why are they so difficult to find? Okay. I'm gonna pause and go look. Okay, it's around this area. So, let's make our way. Um, we're just gonna have to, like, go, like, around the mountain. Whatever, it's fine. I wish these stupid Pokedex, like, entry things, like, on Polygon would just tell me, like, where they spawn. Like, give me a location on the map. Don't give me, like, vague. Like, vague doesn't work anymore. Because, like, they spawn in set places now. It's not like, oh, they spawn in this patch of grass at 10%. You just have to walk around. It's like, no, they spawn at this specific area. Sometimes they spawn in the other ones. But not usually, or not really. Okay, I'm choosing to believe it's down here. I just watched him, like, put the place on the map. I didn't watch, like, the whole video. Maybe I should have... I mean, worst comes worst, we can just climb up. Okay, let's look over here. It's not over here, but there's a TM crunch. Okay. Okay, up. Up. God, I hate rock climb. Go. Okay. It's not here. Not here. Maybe higher. Maybe higher. Up. Okay, sauce buck. Mini or Oh, I should have watched the video. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go watch that video. I didn't want to. 
it, it, I don't feel like the Chimchar spawning were like, was like this big of an issue. Catching the Chimchar was, oh god. Whatever. I think we needed to terastalize to get some BP anyway. Um, flash cannon. Okay, let me watch the video while this is playing. Literally right where I am, right near the border. Okay, we'll like look around more. Thank you. Hopefully I get some BP. I think I got BP from that, right? Please? I did. Catch a normal type Pokemon. Not happening. But it was like over here. Like on this little area. Maybe it was the higher one. I think it was the higher one. The place where we just were. Right here. A score bunny. Like, come on. I'm begging. Maybe we need to, like, look. See, there's a chimchar right there. But, like, where is it? This genuinely pisses me off. Like, just tell me where it is. I see one. Like, this is so much fucking farther. That chimchar is way the fuck back there. But, like, this makes no sense to me. It's not even, like, a general area. It's, like, you have to go, like, 500 feet over there. Like, the chimchar is barely in the map view now. Oh, God. <sighs> Here we go. Okay. Pokemon. Um, I think we'll liquidation. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. I mean, I kind of hope it's faster than me. Oh, fuck you. Battle. Liquidation. I hope it's not faster than me, actually. My Jupiter's dead. Whatever. Go Squirtle. Choose next Pokemon. What does Wave Crash do? I've never seen Wave Crash. Is Wave Crash new? I feel like Wave Crash has to be new. I don't want to use Hydro Pump. Oh, Wave Crash is higher. So, Hydro Pump it is. Fire Spin. It missed. Thank God. Please don't kill it. What the fuck? Uh, damn it. Damn it, Squirtle. I'm probably never going to find another fucking Chimchar. <sighs> Revive. Dupider. Hyper Potion. Dupider. I kind of want to start leading with Dupider. Because Liquidation would not have killed that Chimchar. Please let there be another one. I'm begging. I don't need 15 score bunnies. Okay, let's go off. Up! Chimchar has been the one to piss me off the most. Trico really did because I couldn't find Trico. But like Chimchar trying to catch Chimchar has pissed me off the most. Some of the other ones were super annoying. Chikorita was super annoying too. But like Chimchar. Like this is pissing me off. Like come on. It's still on the thing. So I feel like there should still be Chimchar over here. I don't see any, though. But I see 15 score bunny. Where were these score bunny when I was looking for them? Where were they? Let's look over here. Maybe, like, this area. I don't think any Pokemon will spawn here, though. Okay, let's go back up. If not, we're gonna go look for Froakie. If I can't find it in the, within, like, mm, the next two minutes, we're going to look for Froakie. Like, it's not even showing up on the thing anymore. This is sick. This is genuinely sick. 
It's literally right there. Where is it? I really don't like this system. No, that's a deerling. I saw orange and I was like, oh my god, Shimchar. It's a deerling. Okay, let's try down here. It's literally on the map thing. Look, it's nowhere near. Why did the starter Pokemon spawn so low? What is that? That's a golet. Okay. Okay. Whatever. I did not think Chimchar would be this hard to find. Because we found so many, like, just going up this mountain. Oh my god, Rock Climb worked how it was supposed to. What a concept. Will it? No. We're just gonna slide down. Like, who programmed rock climb in this game? They should be fired. They should be fired. I'm dead fucking serious. Whoever programmed rock climb, fired. Show them the door. Give them a pink slip. I'm dead serious. I don't feel bad at all. They failed their job. Next. Don't bring them back. Chimchar! Thank God. Okay, liquidation. Thank God, okay. Liquidation. Oh, fuck! What the fuck? It didn't kill Snivy, but it killed Chimchar? Okay, oh my God, another Chimchar, what a concept. Okay, we're gonna throw a quick ball at it. We're running out of quick balls. I guess we'll leech life. It appeared to be caught. It didn't think it didn't do it once. Oh god. Okay. We will leech life. 80 80. Acrobatics. Great, it's dead. Okay. Um we could we could, um, mortal spin. Would that kill it? They'll probably kill it, to be honest. No, but we're gonna mortal spin and see how that goes. We could flash cannon. Would flash cannon do a lot? How much does mortal spin do? Mortal spin does 30. Okay, okay. And then we'll just start throwing ultra balls at it. Like, I'm genuinely sick of Chimchar. This is like hurtling Chimchar down in the ranks. Like, Chimchar is vastly going down in my starter Pokemon ranks. Because this is pissing me off. Ultra Ball. We're just gonna start chucking Ultra Balls at it. Like, I'm begging. It's poisoned! It's a status effect! Like... Whatever. It's probably gonna just not go. I'm probably gonna have to, like, start hurling Master Balls at Chimchar. Ultra Ball. I'm begging. It's not even, like... Okay, it shook once, twice, three times. <gasps> oh my god, what a concept! Okay, yay. Next, I think we're going after Froakie. Yay! Chimchar, the chimp Pokemon of fire type. The gas made in its belly burns from its rear and the fire burns weakly when it feels sick. I loved Ashes in the anime, even though it kind of took over Turtwig's place in the show. Like, as soon as Ash got Chimchar at the end of season one of Diamond and Pearl, like, Turtwig didn't stand a chance. It was sad. I think Froakie's over here. I watched the Froakie video. I didn't watch the Chimchar video last night because I was like, oh, Chimchar. Like, I saw, like, 17 Chimchar. We just couldn't catch them. I'd like to heal my Pokemon. This is terrible. I would not recommend this to anybody. But we just need Tep... No, we just need... um Because we have Chespin. We have Pepig. I genuinely think once we catch Froakie, we'll be done. Oh. Somebody I know is currently playing Dead by Daylight. I really hope that didn't show up. But it probably did. Um, I think it was over here.
It's the same person I traded with, too. What a concept. I really don't like that you get notifications when you're, like, friends. You do, you get this on Steam, too, when your friends are playing games online. I really don't like that. It kind of annoys me. But then again, what doesn't annoy me? I feel like I'm very easily annoyed. I don't feel like I'm easily, like, bothered, but I feel like I'm easily annoyed. Like, my patience wears thin. Like, it's very low. I'm very easily annoyed, very easily vexed. Like, it's just something about me. I know it's a character flaw or whatever, but, like, I'm... I was about to say I'm working on it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm fine with being easily annoyed. What's that? Oh, it's a picket pack. Come on. Where's stupid Froki? I don't even like Froki. Like, to be honest, it's fine. But, like, I didn't even like Froki. I think it was over here. It's not over here now. It's literally in this area. Maybe it'll be on, like, the thing with the grass. I don't think it's in the water. I don't know. I don't think it's in the water. I wouldn't put Froki in the water, to be honest. What did I just run into? A deerling. Did I just see a Froki in the background? No, I saw the blue sleeping animation. Maybe it is for Froki, though. It is not. I feel like it's down here. Poplio. Like, why is Froki on the map thing, but it's literally not here? I don't know where else it would spawn. I would not put Froki in the water. I just wouldn't. Maybe it'll be over here. I feel like this is a little far. It is far. Froki is literally supposed to be over here. Where is it? Where is it? Like, I was grabbing Galerica twigs around here, like, for, like, a good 20 minutes. Like, where? Where are the Pokemon? Slack off, Oddish. Where the fuck? Like, genuinely, whoever programmed this little, the map pictures also, they should be fired as well. This is so inaccurate. Like, where is Froki? Where is Froki? Do you see a Froki? Froki's on the map. In the water, too. Hmm. But do you see a Froki in the water? I don't. Is that a Froki? No, it's a tentacle. There's a Poplio. A Finneon. Several Finneon. I would not put Froki to spawn in the water. I just wouldn't. I don't feel like... It just doesn't seem right. Like, Poplio, sure. Squirtle, sure. Mudkip, sure. But, like, Froki? Froki feels very... Like, I understand, like, frogs are, like, amphibious or whatever. Like, I just would not put them, like, in the water to spawn. And it seems the Pokemon Company hasn't either, because where the fuck are they? Okay, the Froakie has moved. Like, it's in the water. Like, the Froakie is nowhere near this fucking water. Like, it's just Finneon, and I love Finneon, but, like, I'm not looking for you. Maybe it'll be up here. It'll probably be up here. I could see Froakie spawning in, like, the grasslands near the water, but, like, it's not here either. Poplio. Is that Froki? Oh my god, Froki. I cannot stand Froki. <laughs> I don't really like Froki. I know that's a very... I, I think that's a very hot take. I don't care for the Greninja line. Like, Greninja itself is fine. I don't think it needed the stupid Ash form. I think that was very stupid. I don't like when we do the fuse between humans and Pokemon. I think that's weird. They did it in one, like, Pokemon break, like a manga or something. And I was like, oh, please don't let this ever be, like, adapted. I don't want it. But, like, I didn't like Ash Greninja. I thought you should just give him, make Froakie the Ace. You could still give him a Mega. 
Froakie, the bubble frog Pokemon, a water type. It utilizes its extraordinary jumping abilities to flummox its foes, throw, throwing springy bubbles at them from above their heads. Send Froakie to the box. But, like, yeah. I would have rather... Like, Ash could have even caught a new Pokemon. But, like, I would have just given him, I don't know, Mega Heracross. Mega Char... They could have thrown him Mega Charizard. Boxes... I would have given him Mega Sceptile, but I do have an advanced generation bias, to be honest. Um, so I think we're gonna go... Do some of our finals now. Took a minute. It took me 30 minutes to catch this fucking Pokemon, because I think we're done with the starters now. We have Tepic, we have Oshawott, we have Chespin, we have Fennekin, we have Froakie, we have Rowlet, we have Litten, we have Poplio. We have Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble. Oh my god, we're done with the starters. What a concept. Okay, we'll do like one or two finals. We'll do like one or two finals. We'll do the rest of them in the next episode. We can still call this episode finals. And just not do all of them. I would like to take my biology final with Mr. Jacques. Yes. I kind of had this idea for the thumbnail where we just do one episode for the thing and I do it where I kind of did the Elite Four and I do like a picture of like all the teachers, but like I don't think that's going to work because I don't want to take all the finals this episode. Hello, hello everyone. Today is our final exam. It will cover everything I've taught you so far, but I'm sure you will all do just fine. Take your time and contemplate each question carefully. How to many of the following four messages make it easier? Paralysis. Huh? How many of the following four methods make it easier to catch a Pokemon? Oh, two. Surprising it from behind. True or false? You can get new Pokemon only by catching them yourself or trading with other trainers. False. They can be gifted to you. If a Pokemon is holding an Everstone, will using an item... No. I think no. What is the probability of running into a shiny Pokemon? One in 4,000? True or false? The Pokemon known as Oricorio has three forms. That is false. It has four. Does question one affect your grade? Did you have anything you would like to... Oh, fuck off. Thank you for being our teacher. Time up. Whether you like it or not, I hope everyone enjoyed tackling those questions. Hey, a second little bonus question there right at the end. Shh, it's our little secret. Don't tell the director. I'll grade those right away. I hope you're all looking forward to seeing how you did. Okay, so we probably won't be using his picture because I don't think I got a good one. Let's look at your results. You must get three questions to pass the midterms and four to pass the finals. You answered four out of five questions. Oh. That's a passing score. I don't give a fuck. XP candy mediums. Keep doing your best. How did I get four out of the five questions? Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Meh. I hope we can give her, like, our... Like, our thoughts on her class. Because I did not care for Time's class. I really didn't. It sucked. Too many trick questions. I didn't care for it. All right, everyone, it's time to begin our final exam. And I hate that because I really love her design. I'm sure the fun experience you all had in my class will serve you well as your answer. How many great balls could you purchase with 3,000 if each one cost six? Um, five, apparently. If a water type move with a power of 100 lands on a grass, a critical hit on a grass type move, what will the powers be? If a water type, um, 75, apparently. Under normal conditions, what percent chance does Stone Age have to land a critical hit? Um, 12%. If a Pokemon uses Sword Stance twice to boost its attack by four stages, how much will physical moves then do? Triple damage. If a Rock-type Pokemon whose Terra type is Rock Terrestrializes, what number will it be multiplied by two? Oh, she didn't sneak one in. She knew her class was bullshit test with accumulation of all I taught you. I'm sure you all did just fine. Do go and ask for your scores at the front desk and then take a nice break. 
these are not taking as long as I thought they would. I thought this would be a lot more... I thought this would be a lot more, like, arduous of a task. I need to get four to pass. I got five! Yay! XP candy mediums. Thank God. We'll need them. We'll take, um, one more. Mm, yeah. We'll do history. I liked the history class with Miss Ryfort. She appeared in the anime recently. Uh, I hope she has more to do with, like, the legends and all that. I didn't really care for her anime design, though. Like, I feel, I feel like they made her lips, like, too light of a color. Greetings, my little students. It is time for our final examination. Summon your historical knowledge from the dark recesses of your mind and answer the questions. What is the area within the great crater of Paldea called? Area Zero. How many years ago was the Academy founded? 805? Yes. Which of these ta these did not appear in the Paldean fairy tale about the four treasures? A folding fan? That would have been fun if we had a fan Pokemon. Which Area Zero Expedition member wrote the records of the team's activities? It was a Heath. It was Heath. How many years ago did Professor Turum hit the Terra Orbs? Ten. Yes. I really like her. You must excuse that last question. It's too shallow and ridiculous to be on a history test. But alas, the director forced me to include it. So ends our final examination. You may ask for your scores at the front desk. I really liked Ryfort. She's one of my favorite of the teachers, to be honest. But yay, I expect five out of five. Five out of five! An EXP candy medium. Okay. Then we're going to... I think we're going to evolve these two. Might as well put some of our EXP candies to use. Are you fucking kidding me? Yay! Dewpider! Lana should have caught this. She had one in the fucking anime. Like, there was an episode where Dewpider was in love with her. Like, she should have caught it. And she should have evolved it into a Raquanid. Then maybe the battles wouldn't have been so fucking boring. Because the battles, they, they, they loved a one-on-one. -on -one or a two-on-two. -on -two. Sometimes a three-on-three. -three, but rarely a four, a five, or a six. Araquanid, the water bubble Pokemon, a water bug type. It launches sticky water bubbles. Foes who lose consciousness while trapped inside these bubbles will get torn apart by Araquanid's gashing jaws. I love Araquanid. I think it's so cool. Lana should have had one. Like, I'm dead serious about it, too. Really? Yay, Squirtle! I loved Maze in the anime. I love how I talk about Maze before I say, oh, Ashes. But I liked Ashes, too. I thought its relationship with Maze Squirtle was cute. But I loved Maze Squirtle. That, like, thing of it with, like, the flower crown in that one episode was so cute. And I loved Maze War Turtle, even though it only cameoed. War Turtle, the turtle Pokemon, a water type. It often hides in water to stalk unwary prey. While swimming quickly, it moves its ears to maintain balance. I love the swirl. I love the swirl. I hate that they got rid of it for Blastoise. I don't know how it would have worked, because I really love Blastoise's design. But, like, I love the swirls on War Turtle. Okay, Araquanid can move. And then we're gonna grab... We're going to grab, I guess, hmm, we're going to grab Totodile, and we're going to grab Totodile, and have you both caught any? I think it's a shiny stone. Don't quote me. I think it's a shiny stone. We're going to, we're going to look. I think it's a shiny stone. It is not. Is it a dawn stone? How do you evolve cottony? I thought it was a shiny stone. Cottony. Cottony evolves a sunstone. I feel like we have one. Yes, I thought it was a shiny stone. Maybe Mincino is a shiny stone. I think Mincino is a shiny stone. I like Cottony. It's cute enough. It's one of the ones I kind of forget. But looking at it now, it's really cute. It's kind of giving Sanrio. I like Whimsica. I really do. Like the little brown body. I think that's... I don't know why. It just gave it like a little pop. Like it's so cute. 
I really like Whimsicott. Whimsicott, the wind-veiled Pokemon, a grass fairy type. It rides on the wind and slips into people's homes. After it has turned a room into a cotton-filled mess, it giggles to itself and takes off. It's so cute. But, like, I never noticed how cute Cottony was. Like, until it just evolved. I had never noticed how cute I thought it was. Like, it was giving... What was it? Cinema roll? That's what Cottony was just giving. Oh my god, Totodile. Yay! Totodile, I really like Ashes in the anime. I wish it would have done more. Like, battle-wise. Croconaw! I really like Croconaw, too. I like Totodile more than Croconaw, but I really like Croconaw. I feel like it could have become a Croconaw, and I feel like we still could have had the vibe of Ash's Totodile. Croconaw, the big jaw Pokemon, a water type. It opens its huge jaws wide to attack. If it loses fangs while biting, they'll just keep on growing back one after the other. Because I feel like Croconaw still has, a, like, a, like, a thing of silliness to it. To where it wouldn't have lost Totodile's little pizzazz. Boxes. Whimsicott. In the box. And then... We'll grab... We'll grab Mincino. I think we're gonna take one... Oh my god. We'll take one more class. We'll take one more class. That's what we'll do. We'll take one more class. Languages. Salvatore. Yes. I liked him. He didn't do a lot. I really hope he... I still am holding out hope that he'll get the Pommy from the Explorers thing. From the ship. I'm still holding out hope we'll get that episode. Because it hasn't happened yet as of July 16th, 2024. But I, I have hope. Azure, today we take our final exam. The Timval, relax, that is, do your best. If you will pray, are you ready? Let's begin. Which of the following means delicious? Delicio. Which of the which do these two foreign phrases mean? Jetame. Jetame means I love you. I was far too involved in Tumblr in like the late middle school, early high school to not know what Jetame means. Like, it was under every fucking post. Um, what emotion do you think Peach Kiju is expressing? Apparently, it's anger. Say it again. Oh, yeah, that's giving anger. Okay, that was happiness. Cha, I feel like that's happiness. What is your beloved teacher's name? Salvatore. Uh, put down your pens, that is. I assume the obligatory Darinaire question, last question, that is, gave you no trouble? I would hope not. I'm sure you all did great. Bravo, my friends. You can get your scores at the school's front desk. And then I... I think Mincino evolves with a shiny stone, so we're gonna try it. Feels great to get a test out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. You need four. Five out of five. Yay! We got an EXP candy medium. Okay, I think we're gonna evolve Mincino. Not that. Bug. We're gonna use a shiny stone. I think it's a shiny sh stone on Mincino. Yes, I really like Mincino. I have a shiny one. It's pink. It's in Pokemon Bank, though. I hope they don't close it on Pokemon Bank. I think it's free now. Because I used to have to pay like $5 a year. I like Cincino too. Cincino, the scarf Pokemon, a normal type. The oil that seeps from its body is really smooth. For people troubled by bad skin, this oil is an effective treatment. That's cute. But yeah, I love chinchillas too. I think they're so cute. I have like a core memory of like a second grade field trip where we got to pet a chinchilla at the zoo. Um... Forget Tickle. Yay. Okay, and then I want to look at our Pokedex. Because we get a reward. <gasps> Safari Ball. What does the Safari Ball do now? Because we don't have a Safari. What does the Safari Ball do now? Is it just for, like, the look? 
Um, used in locales such as the Far Zone and the Kanto region and the Great Marsh and the Sinnoh region. If we're getting these random Pokeballs, I would like... Is it the Park Ball? The... The fucking... The one from the... The, con, the Bug Catching Contest. Um, Park Ball? Is it the Park Ball? No, that's the Pal Park one. What is the other one? What is it called? The... The sports ball. I like the sports ball. I think it's fun. Oh, the dream ball too. I should do a tier list of the Pokemon balls. I like the original, the park ball in the anime where it was green. I liked that one. It had two different, like seeing, like looking at the picture from the anime, it had the green on the top and then the four green like X's and then like two red green, two like red parts in the green. That was cute. Why did they replace that? That is so cute. Oh, that would have been cute. But I think that's going to be all for now. In the next episode, I think we need to go battle Grusha. So that's going to be all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.